Honey is a free browser ad on available Google, Oprah, Firefox, Safari. If it's a browser, it has Honey. All you have to do is when you're checking out one, on one of these major sites, just click on that little orange button and it will scan the entire net to find discount codes for you. They can normally save you between 2 and 50%. Trust me, that adds up over time. There's literally no reason not to install Honey. It takes two clicks. Oh, and did we mention that it's free? Over 10 million people use it and it has 100,000 five-star reviews. So if you'd like to start saving money now, go to the link in the description down below and install Honey. I'm a Sage here, and before we get into today's video, I'd like to thank the supporters on Patreon. Their support really means a lot. A link to the Patreon will be in the description as well as a link to the Discord group chat where you can talk to me and other morals like yourself. There are quite a few people there already, and it'll be awesome if you joined us. And lastly, this is a video written by Noah Stories. Link to the description, link is to his channel in the description. Please check him out after this video. Now, let's get right into the story. Midori appears above a huge body of water falling into it, close in his eyes. On the moment of impact, he looks around. Midori thinks to himself, where are we? Benjamin said, we are displaced. Move to the flood area, train area by that villain. A villain then attacks Midoriya. Midoriya sees it coming and moves out of the way. Midoriya then says, how much air do you, we have left? Venom then says, a couple minutes. Midoriya thinks to himself, with that amount of, of air, there isn't much we can do underwater. The firearm isn't going to work and our punches will be weakened. Our best chance is to run away. Midoriya starts swimming to the surface with the villain following wants to attack again. So he rushes and pushes the villain out of the way with an attack before swimming away. Midori reaches the surface and looks around, seeing the boat. He just additions between points to his arm and shoots a web at the boat, using it to get himself onto the boat. He reaches the boat and sees Suyu Mineta already on board. As he boards, the mask starts peeling off revealing his face. Midori then says, Thanks for the save, Asui. Suyu then says, No problem, and I told you to call me Suyu. Man, this has turned out to be a horrible day of class. Midori says, Yeah, I keep thinking about something though. Well, about what that villain said. Mineta says, what is it? They knew our whole schedule and who would be here. They must have gotten into school files while we were stuck in the cafeteria, while the teachers were trying to get the media off the school grounds. That means they've been waiting for the perfect moment to attack, just like Toroki said they were, says Midoriya. Benjamin then said, that still doesn't explain what their objective is, or why they have another member of my species with them. Mineta then says, hey, hold on a second. It's not like these guys can really kill all my... When he shows up, he'll pound them into the ground. But I'm going to say, if they have a Clintar on their side, it's very probable that they have enough power to defeat him. I keep getting a weak sensation from him. Midorian says, they can probably defeat All Might, the big guy, the one that is covered in silvery substance, looks strong enough to defeat him. So maybe it's actually possible. So even says, if you think about it, they wouldn't spend so much time planning an attack like this without a way to evacuate until the end. Besides, didn't you hear what the smoke guy said? We should worry about not getting tortured to death instead of All Might. Otherwise, we might not live long enough to see him coming to save us. And then it starts panicking and crying and being really scared from the comment. Venom, Venom is said, what a wimp. How do you even make it into a school? Anyway, Midoriya, what's our plan? Our strategy, how are we supposed to beat him? Midoriya thinking, I have no idea. Besides, something that's bothering me is why haven't the villains started attacking us yet? Midoriya's stomach growls. But Venom then says, I'm hungry. Midoriya grabs a piece of chocolate from his pouch and eats it. He starts to mumble after swallowing it. Venom in his head says, that's better, thanks. Madonna panicking says, how can you be eating at a time like this? We're about to die. Suyu then says, can I have some? Midoriya says, sure. He hands some to Suyu, which she eats. Mineta looks stunned at the other two students. Midoriya then says, want some? Mineta looks outside the boat, seeing that they are now surrounded. Mineta says, of course not. How can you be thinking about food at a time like this? We are surrounded by bad guys. Midoriya looks at Suyu seriously. Midoriya, if they really have a way to defeat All Might, then we have to find out what their plans are. We have to work together to figure this out and to keep All Might safe. Venom in his head says, why isn't anybody from UA come to help? Midoriya says, it's very probable that no one in school knows what's going on here. So it's up to us to figure it all out. This is our hero moment. Suyu then says, yeah, but first, we would need a plan. At the same time, the in the entrance of the USJ, the students take action themselves, with Eden managing to escape to call for help. On the other parts of the facility, the students start finding and defeating some of the villains and extract information from them. On the boat, Midoriya says, we have to fight them to get out of the situation first. Midoriya says, what do you mean we fight? Are you crazy? These guys might be able to defeat All Might, and you think we can take them down? Did you hit your head when we got warped here? Midoriya keeps whining. Think about it. These villains down here clearly have the advantage in the water, and assume that that's where we'll be fighting, meaning that they knew their way around the facility, but they don't know about the students, our course and abilities are unknown to them. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought you here, Suyu. This is your element. Suyu then says, you're right. Midoriya starts mumbling. 
They aren't climbing onto the bow, which means they have no idea what our- For all they know, we might be stronger than All Might or something. So he then says, so let's talk quirks. I'll go first if you want. Obviously I can jump high. I can also cling to pretty much any wall. And of course there is my tongue. I can stick it out to about 20 meters. Oh yeah, I can stick my stomach so I can glade it out. Glade it, but that's not really useful. I also secret a toxic mucus. It just seems a bit. Venom in his head, that's not very useful. Midorian says, I guess I'm next. My quirk is called Venom. I can secrete this black substance which I can control and use for many things. It enhances my strength and other physical aspects. It allows me to stick the walls into a sticky substance that kind of acts like spire webs. Midorian says, I got these sticky balls. Their strength varies depending on how I'm feeling. It might stick to something for a whole day. They grow back as fast as I can pull them off, but I'll bleed if I use too many. Oh, and they don't stick to me. I just bounce off of them. Midori and Suyu look at Mineta trying to come up with a plan. Mineta says, don't look at me like that. Water villain 1, I'm starting to get bored. Let's get this show on the road. He makes a giant water hand and smashes it into the boat, breaking it in half and making it sink slowly. Mineta freaks out and goes to shoot some of his balls. Midori stops him by shooting a web at him and pulling him towards him. With venom in his head that says, we are running out of time. Midori's mass manifests around his face. Midorian says, we have about a minute before this boat fully sinks. We do something in quick. He grabs two smoke bombs and sleep gas canisters. Midoriya, Suyu's without breathing this mask, get to shore and take Mineta with you. Midoriya grabs the two canisters, smashing them in. The gas quickly escapes, going everywhere. Midoriya jumps into the air, throwing the canisters onto the water. Many of the villains breathe in the gas, passing out. Midoriya makes his arm bigger, using symbiote, and grabs one of the firearms. He uses the arm to smash many of the villains and the rubber bullets to shoot at them, taking many of them out one by one. After feeding the villains, webbing them up to some pieces of debris, Midori goes to the shore. The three students make it to the shore just as All Might arrives in the building. All Might says, Don't fear, students. Everything's fine now. Why? Because I am here. Shigaraki says, Ah, the final boss has finally arrived. All Might rushes to the center plaza, rescuing us all, and taking him to safety. All Might says, Texas Smash! And strikes the creature. It doesn't flinch and grabs All Might by the arm. The Noemu then says, Weak attack. I acted more from the number one hero. Riot, the symbiote in control of the Nomu's body, then hits all my knocking him back. Shogaraki then says, cool right? He has shackles origin, so there is no way you can defeat him. He is our most powerful pawn, and is made better by our little friend Riot over here. Riot then says, should I kill him? Shogaraki then says, go ahead. But Midoriya shoots a web from a distance, moving in the direction of the punch, and making him lose balance. All Might takes a chance to punch Riot, but the attack doesn't do anything. Venom in his head says, he's too strong. Midorian says, run All Might, they're going to kill you. Midoriya rushes in groin size and strikes at Riot, not doing much damage. Oh, a friend, says Riot. Riot punches Midoriya, throwing him away to the ground. Midorian says, run All Might. All Might says, I can't do that, young Midoriya. As a hero, I can't run away. If I have to meet my end, then so be it. Venom out loud says, I won't allow that. All Might goes to hit Riot with Detroit Smash, the symbiote jumping from Midoriya to All Might mid-swing and making All Might's attacks a lot stronger. Venom in All Might's head, don't worry All Might, I'm here to help. Venom covers up All Might's full body noticing the injury. Venom then says, oh, so that's why you're so weak. All Might's injury starts healing thanks to Venom. All Might punches Riot again and again. Riot says, that tickles. Shigaraki starts laughing. Shigaraki then says, that's not going to work, Nomu has shock absorption. Kurigiri shows up and tries to trap All Might in a portal, but Venom manages to help All Might evade it. All Might then strikes Kurigiri, incapacitating him. All Might then starts hitting Riot even more, with each attack getting stronger and stronger. As Venom slowly heals his body from the inside out, suddenly ice starts forming, forming reason around most of the Nomu that Riot controls. And Bakugo and Kirishima jump into this battlefield, attacking Shigaraki, managing to pin him down. All Might keeps hitting Riot, and after 73 blows, he manages to take down the Nomu. Shigaraki, who is evading the student's attacks, looks in horror at what just happened. No, no, no! You cheated! How could you? This is so unfair! All Might dooms towards Shigaraki, hitting him over the head, knocking him out. Venom then All Might's head, goodbye. It was a pleasure working with you. Venom then leaves All Might's body, then goes toward Midoriya, buying with him again. All Might then says, well, we managed to defeat the villains. Thanks for your help, young Midoriya. Um, you're welcome, All Might, says Midoriya. Bakugan says, says, how did you manage to help out, you damn nerd? The other heroes then arrive to help and realize the situation was already taken care of. All Might goes to grab Kirigiri and Shigaraki. Before he can, a black group comes out of their mouths and swallows them, teleporting them away. All Might then says, damn it. The students go take Aizawa to the infirmary to get medical attention. All Might goes to wanting to get examined by Recovery Girl since his old injuries are now suddenly a lot better. Midori, along with the other students, is sent home after being interviewed by the police on the way home. Venom says, okay, so the reason All Might felt so weak is because he has this huge injury on his side. 
This was laying out a lot of his power. I healed it up as best as I could, though, while I was bonded with him. Midori says, cool, so that's why he thanked me. In our location, a woman walks into a dark relit room. A female scientist. Let's call her Samantha Collins. We have a report on the missing symbiote, sir. Venom, unknown man. Where is it? Samantha then says, it appears to have bonded to a young boy at UA. We got word from our new associate. A mom, unknown man says, interesting. How long does he have? Samantha says, that's the thing, sir. It appears that he has achieved a perfect symbiosis. A unknown man says, very interesting. Keep the situation monitored. I want to know everything about this boy. Thank you all for watching the video to the end. Now there are a few more things I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, I'd like to let you all know that we have a merch store. Some of the items in it are only available for a limited amount of time, so if you're interested, go into the description and check it out. Each purchase helps us make more content. Secondly, I'd like to thank our $5 Patreon supporters for helping us to fund these videos. Lastly, on behalf of We Celestials, I'd like to thank the writer for this video, as well as the editor of this first video for the details will be in the description. For voice actor, editor, or writer, where you're interested in becoming one of those, go to the Discord that's in the description of this video and up to the head of one of those areas. We're always looking for new members to join us. That's it from us for today's video. So thank you all for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're interested and hit that like button if you liked the video. Until next time, peace out morals, have an amazing day. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining.